was seven to zero, but council members note there is still much work to be done and neighbors in the Sunset Hills area have been rallying support for this meeting for weeks, showing up to the city council in full force, trying to change or stop the project. What was once a lush green golf course off 93rd and Arbor, just north of center, now sits empty. The Sunset Hills golf course closing in June of 2016. The land sold to NP Dodge to redevelop from open space to housing. There are 37 single family lots uh, along with um, 210 apartments. Developer Nate Dodge shows the plans with a tree buffer separating the new developments from the existing homes and sidewalks in and out of the neighborhood. And we're working on a dedicated walkway that will be between the neighborhood and the schools. Developers say they've met with neighbors over concerns many times and say 60% of the area will stay green space. Seems like a happy resolution. Neighbors disagree, armed in numbers and reasons against the development. The major complaint added traffic. This will put children's lives such as my own two-year-old and four-year-old at risk walking and biking to and from the Papio Trail, the elementary school and the Sunset Hills pool. Even tearful testimony from a parent whose child was killed on a roadway. My simple question today is why do we need something like this to happen again? Homeowners also worry about the floodplain, saying the dedicated green space is an overflow for the Papio and putting in housing would potentially push the water into their homes. Once a floodplain, always a floodplain. But developers say they've got the planning board's approval and point out they aren't asking for any taxpayer dollars for the project. Now, the council did vote unanimously to move forward with those plans, but like said, they say there's much work to do, including a look at traffic calming devices and drainage for some of those homes. Developers say they don't have a solid timeline yet. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Sarah.